Hey everyone, welcome back, and today we're doing episode two of, oh, you didn't see that, but I went like this, mm -hmm. um, of Once Upon an Ever After High, and today we're going to look at Comic-Con and, like, single release, no other dolls were released within their, like, theming doll. Um, so there's only three of them that I could look at when I was, like, going through the, my room, my, my Ever After High collection. There's too many high schools. Yeah. Oh, Tony's here, by the way. So Hello. We filmed Tony's room tour, so that'll be going up right after this video. Mm. So he's coming up next. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> so first we're going to look at this blondie, um, whose name I literally can't remember. Will you look up Blondie Locks? Uh, it's like sweets something. Like, Just look up on the Ever After High wiki, like Blondie Locks dolls. So while he's looking up the name of this doll, I know she was a Target exclusive because she did not have a street date and me and my husband found her early and convinced a Target employer to bring her to the back. And they did. So here she is. She is the best Blondie Locks by far. Like, there's no question. Like, the best one. She is gorgeous. Oh, girly. Let's not do that. Here's her face up close. It's a little dusty. I'm sorry. But it's so pretty. Ever After High had such pretty faces. And then she had like these like... Are this mint, you think? Yeah. These like mint streaks in her hair. And this like really cute hairstyle. I wish I had her box, honestly. Mm. She's super cute. Yeah, and it's like... All these pieces are sculpted. A cupcake around her. This is like almost nearly identical to her signature bowl. Hmm. Bowl. <laughs> bow. With like cupcake and like confectionery designs. She was in like a, specifically in one episode of the Ever After High thing where she was like going on reviewing stuff and like Raven cast a spell and it hit her and she got this like amazing outfit for no reason. These cupcakes do not belong to her. They are from the ginger playset, but we will just pretend. Let me just adjust her a little bit. Girly, I will beat your ass. Oh, sorry. And she's got this cute, like, fluffy blue bolero on. Yeah, this is printed on, but, like, she still has, like, this, like, air of, like, exclusivity to her. Like, even with the printed-on fabric. And she has this, like, string of pearls necklace that ends in a charm. Does she have earrings? Yeah. They're just cupcakes. Both sides, same earring. I feel like if this was a Monster High doll, she'd have two different earrings. Yeah. So, yeah, this blue bolero that goes into this corseted top that is printed... But it's got bows and, like, cupcakes. And then she's got a belt. It's, like, frilly and cute and has, like, sculpted mint and yellow roses. And then this has, like, this, like, almost semi-realistic printing of, like, frosting and cupcake tops. Like, and then I think this is what keeps it from looking too stilted is that it's got actual bows on it. Like, on these little... These little swoopies. Correct term for these, by the way. I can't find her name. None of the wikis, like, have anything on her. Did like, you look up, like, list of Blondie Locks dolls? Mm -hmm. What the heck? Well, I don't know. Correct me in the comments and everything. I don't think she came with these tights. I think I gave these to her from another Blondie Locks doll that I had. Her shoes are so cute, but I know that she was not part of the ginger, like, baking set. Like, the, that set of dolls whose names I cannot remember right now. Her. Wow, we got robbed. <laughs> Wait, maybe she did come with the tights, but I don't think the doll did. I don't think the doll did. Like, it just doesn't say who I she is. Nope, not at all. <sighs> yeah. Like, you can't go to that website? That M on that website. It doesn't say who she is? No. It's just, just a picture. Ooh, tangents. Sorry. <laughs> and then we go into this, like, this is literally, like, a cupcake, like, holder. Like, yeah. what is it called? Um, 
I don't know. Form? A tin form, cupcake form. I'm literally a baker, but I have no idea. <laughs> right? Uh, and then it's got crinoline on the bottom. So I guess she did come with these. But I don't remember her actually coming with them in the box, man. But those are her shoes. You know, same shoe. So beautiful. Look at all this dust. Love it. And then this is her hair in the back. It's just straight up blonde. Cool. My little table is shaking. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, do you like my table? It's got a cute heart. So cute. Okay, and then we are going to do Heartstruck Cupid. I do remember her name. This doll was like kind of what happens sometimes with like Rainbow and LOL. Mm -hmm. Where like this leak happens and then like a week later we find her in the stores for like no reason. Mm -hmm. This happened to Heartstruck Cupid. And look up Royally Ever After Apple. I think that's what this biatch is called. But here she is. This is the best Cupid doll. No. I love Through the Woods Cupid. Because she's got, like, the black and, like, I don't know. She's so beautiful. But this is, like, all spring and flowers. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, she should be my favorite. I think it's, like, the weird cone hair that, that keeps me from yeah. having her my favorite. Rolly Everter? Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> okay, so here's Cupid. We'll do, like, a quick pan before we look at all her details. She's so pretty. Um, but she straight up copied Draculara and, like... <laughs> will you run into the doll room right now and check if she's got a heart on her signature doll? We're about to flame the hell out of Cupid. But here's her face up. I love the heart shape, like, uh, catch lights in her eye. And she's got, like, hella eyelashes. She does not... Fine, she's not a complete uh, wannabe, but <laughs> girly. Like, the Ever After High show kind of made, like, her look stupid as hell. <laughs> like, for being so obsessed with De Dexter. Mm -hmm. I hated that for her. Okay, so here's her beautiful face, that uh, Dracula birthmark on her face. And then, like, hearts and flowers. Her earrings. I don't think I've ever looked at this doll's earrings, if we're being completely honest. And in true, like, fashion doll, uh, these random stringies that have no purpose in the hair, actually. <laughs> these are her earrings. Ooh, they're really pretty, actually. Mm -hmm. They're, like, bronze. They're super pretty. Yeah, same earring on both sides. I love, like, the heart. I love this style of lip. Mm -hmm. I'm like, please make a comeback. <laughs> and there's her silly hairstyle that I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> Silly. It's silly, right? It's like, yeah. look at this hair. Why is it literally the top of an ice cream cone? And then this really, really pretty um, headband with these rosettes all over it. That's really pretty. But I'm colorblind, guys. Is that yellow? Yes. Okay, good. The flowers are. The headband's green? Yes. Oh, yes. But her hair is in her, like, confectionery pink color. And this is, like, a necklace piece. It's, like, still tied. I got all my original rubber bands. I should wash this doll's hair. And I will never do it, so don't ask for a video of that. <laughs> um, because I don't do that stuff. Do you guys ever watch those videos where some reviewers will, like, take down a doll's hairstyle? Because people will be like, we want to see the rooting. I would literally tell you guys to burn in hell. <laughs> like, no... Buy her yourself. I will not be taking my doll's hairstyle down. You have lost the plot. In the words of Gordon Ramsay, you have lost the plot. But he would throw a few more colorful F words in there. Um, Homegirl was literally serving with like these uh, filigreed vines. Well, like these like leafings. I don't know. What the hell would you call this? Um, it's like Grecian. Yeah. And it's got, like, the pink rosettes. Oh, let's look at her wings, though. These wings oh, were insane. Dude. Oh, my God. Let's look at them from the back. They're uh, still good from the back. Angel wings. Like, like, like they're dripping. I hate, I hate hearing my name in any capacity that isn't my name. <laughs> like, I know that, like, angels are messengers of God, but it's also, like, girly, that's my name. What the heck? Um, There you can see a bald patch. Love that. It's because of that silly hairstyle. <laughs> 
But she's got bangs, so we cannot roast her that hard. She's got bangs. Okay, and then she's got that same piece over here, over here. <laughs> Hate you. And then she came with this flower bouquet with purple for some reason. <laughs> with purple for some reason. This is awful, right? It should be like red. Why is it purple? She has no purple on her. None. Whatsoever. Purple. And it's not just like it's like lilac or love. It's it's effing purple. <laughs> like that is purple. When I talk about the color purple, I'm talking about this color. This color is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> uh, but her dress is super detailed and multi-layered. Yeah, it's got it's tulle. So it's got like this like Tinkerbell-esque oh, underneath yes. layer. Ooh, and she's got vines and on a belt. And this like semi-realistic like photographed fabric. I love this. So and I think this girl's only like $25.99. She was like not even bad. Her shoes are gorgeous. Like the roping and the braids. Oh, mm -hmm. she's an idiot. <laughs> Ever After High Dolls had like the prettiest body. Of all like the articulated doll bodies that are in my collection, I would say that Ever After High Dolls had the prettiest body. Because like they've got these like tiny torsos and like legs that are a mile long. <laughs> but like with these like little tiny like <laughs> like breasts. But like a tiny pinched waist with like a like a... Oh, you know what? The OMG body. Never mind. The OMG body was like, shut the hell up, girl. <laughs> but no, their legs are short, I feel. But the new OMG. The new OMGs. Have you guys seen the leaks for the collector OMGs? They're so big. Oof. Swag is the best doll I've ever laid my eyes yeah. on. She's going to kill us. Sorry, this is an Ever After High video. <laughs> Here is Royally Ever After Apple. Um, She's like this because this stupid apple doesn't like want to stay anywhere but the, we'll get this out of the way it's this like plated apple i just learned that word from brooke's video today <laughs> thanks brooke love you um she has more followers than me but shout out <laughs> um because we love her mm. but it also has like green right like that's that's it's green on the top green Ugh, remember when mattel cared <laughs> honestly the cute productions are like they're bomb. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that because I got promo. Mm -hmm. I would literally tell you, I literally had to like get drunk to do that video. Because <laughs> I was like, I won't be honest if I'm not drunk. I'll be like, thank you, Mattel. Mm -hmm. But like, if I was like, if I get drunk, I'll be like, this sucks. <laughs> and it didn't. It was actually, it met all my expectations. Mm -hmm. But back to this girly. She's got beautiful, long saran hair. And it's not curly like Apple's like usual style which makes me wonder if she's got like naturally curly hair or she's like a bone straight girl that curls her hair because then like she's a catfish <laughs> but this is when mattel knew how to do eyelashes because those uh collector dolls with their jagged <laughs> spotty eyelashes for 85 dollars please <laughs> well she comes with a scepter a scepter, guys. <laughs> Have you ever seen a doll come with a scepter? No. Ever? Mm -mm. That was this beautiful? Like, this is a literal apple inside of it. It's so cute. She's insane. She's camp. Ugh. Camp. Camp. <laughs> um, to all my gay people that have straight siblings that love to annoy them with gay lingo, <laughs> isn't it so fun? It's so fun. We have a straight older sister. And whenever we go visit her, we're like camp. And she's like, she's looking at us like we've grown six heads. <laughs> and it's hilarious. So this is her apple ring. Um, I don't know what the hell that is, actually. It's not an apple. I think it's just like three rubies. Her purse is so cute. I don't know. Is this a purse? Or is that like one of those things like you guys remember in Frozen? Where like they hand Elsa that scepter and that other thing that she has to hold. It's, I don't know what it is. It's like another oh, thing. Oh, yeah. It's like some weird jewel. Whatever. I think that's what that might be. <laughs> I don't think it's a purse because that would be kind of random. <laughs> like, here, queen, purse. Because she's supposed to be like accepting her dentist, her de dynasty. <laughs> Ooh, her destiny here. And don't look at my ugly ass fingernails, please. That's homophobic. <laughs> if you looked at them, you hate gay people. <laughs> And her jeweled um, bracelet. 
Come on, iPhone. Yes, I film all my videos, my professional ass videos mm -hmm. on my iPhone. Don't worry, I'm saving up for a camera and I'm gonna like edit soon. But like, do you guys like these unedited videos? Cause I love it. <laughs> but here's her beautiful face. Oh, let's look at her crown actually. Let's so start from pretty. the top. It's got like these painted in rubies right here. Mm. But it, these things should be painted too, but like Mattel got cheap. <laughs> um, the Ever After High eyebrows are interesting for sure. <laughs> um, they're a little draggish. <laughs> No? Interesting. They're interesting. <laughs> this is all one piece. Um, I don't know anything about, like, fashion. I like what I like. Mm -hmm. But, like, I do not even know how to explain what the hell this is called. <laughs> like, it's I don't... It's a big collar. It's a big collar. <laughs> yeah, there's no painted details, but it's extremely well detailed and beautiful. And there's, like, a paint right there. A paint. There's a painted... <laughs> I was going to say a painted detail, but then I stopped at paint. Please. There's a painted detail right here in, like, the rubies in the front. There's a few of them. And she's got her original rubber bands because I was, like, 20 when I got this doll. and not a kid, so I did not F her up. <laughs> um, like, but, like, parents, honestly, you saw this doll and you were like, yeah, my kid should play with that. What the Tony! That's going to be the only bad word you ever hear from us. Sorry. Um, I'm about to, like, literally beat him up afterwards. <laughs> Sorry. And then she's got this, like, cage, um, what is this called? Poofy, like. Poof collar? Shoulder. Not shoulder, like a, sh like a shoulder pad, yeah. yeah shoulder pad. But it's not, ca it's a like cage pearls. It's beautiful. Uh, I'm going to have to try to find a way to cut that yeah. out of there. <laughs> I hate you. I'm sorry. And if you don't, if I actually manage to like go through this and edit it, he said the F word. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but it's got this belt. But let's look at this brocaded like pattern. This is all raised glitter, guys. It is a raised glitter fabric she that goes so into a mermaid gown with one, two, three, four. Four layers of tool. Camp. And it's glittered, and they're all different shades. Well, two shades. That's enough for me. Mm -hmm. This doll is incredible. But yes, all these dolls came with stands. Remember when Mattel used to give us stands? Girl, <laughs> take your apple. Oh, no. Yeah, this is your apple. <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's because, like, Raven comes with one, too. And then this is the first Comic-Con doll that we ever received. Cerise Wolf. Daughter of the Big Bad Wolf. Should we look at her boxes first? Sure. Or the doll? Okay. So, Cerise came in this box. Inside of this box. Mm. So, here's the outer box. It's like the semi-realistic photographed, uh, like, wood. Mm. And then this is emblazoned on it. There's like, it's not like raised or anything, but it's just a really nice look. And it goes all along the sides and back. Thanks. <laughs> Stupid box. And then this was Cerise's official box. I actually wish that they didn't have to do this because it's so ugly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> why? We get it. Daughter of the Big Bad Wolf instead of Daughter of Red Riding Hood. Love that. Ever after high, and then all this filigree, and it's in the shape of a real book. I wish they'd all done this to, for I don't know, to have some damn uniformity. <laughs> and then along the spine of the novel, it says, Big Bad Wolf, hate you. And then there's Brooke Page. <laughs> What's her name, girlie? Are you a rebel? Or a rebel. Oh. Are you a royal or a rebel? Trademarked. Ugly. Her beautiful artwork. Mm -hmm. Credits. Doll designer. There's all that. Love it. Wait, three people just like illustrated this? How does that work? Three people illustrating one thing? My work. Artwork. And this is some stuff that you can read yourself because mm -hmm. I'm not going to. And then like here's the pages. <laughs> and then you do this. And then it opens up. She was in here. Oh, I love that. It's so pretty. Uh, I don't even know how to begin to let you read this, guys. Okay. 
You're going to have to, like, pause this because I'm not reading this. Mm-hmm. I love that Ever After High had, like, these, like, novelizations in first person. Because, mm-hmm. like, I grew up, in, like, with Twilight. So I love first person mm-hmm. narration. <laughs> So that's her box. I think that's my favorite packaging of, of all of them, honestly. It's so good. And then on to Cerise. My favorite doll is uh, Cedar, though. Mm. She's so good, though. Oh, look at her. I'm trying to make sure that's not just dust and she's gray. <laughs> okay, so let's start at the top at her, like, wolf hood. I don't know how else to say that. I've never seen this doll's hair, guys, because I think that this is, yeah, it's, like, attached to her head. So I've never seen her hair. I could not tell you. I won't tell you because I'm not going to ruin my doll. Because mm-hmm. I don't play with the the exclusives. I'm going to start taking pictures of this doll, though, because mine has a perfect face. Mm-hmm. But here's, like, the, the wolf top. It's very Game of Thrones. Very. And it's got this, like, Com- like almost completely fur lined trim. That's like a problem in the back. I like this hood. It's like, oh, it's luscious. This is like a velvety material. Mm. It's like it's not velvet, but it's like it's a little like annoying sister, you know? Yeah. And here is Cerise. I think she's got predominantly gray, like white hair though, mm. with like brown streaks. It's like the opposite of a real doll. Yeah. Like, look at her it's face. So the fangs. Mattel loved doing that. Mm-hmm. And then she's got this, like, it looks like wood, but I think it's supposed to be antlers. I don't know. Like, because she's like a hunter and she's like killing, like, stags, I guess. Mm-hmm. And yes, it does attach here. I won't take it off. I'm really sorry, guys, but. <laughs> I, I don't know. Look for another video if you want that. This is just us, like, hanging out and, like, talking about dolls. Mm-hmm. Not me, like, undressing my dolls for you. I don't know. Does that come off as snotty? No. And she's got a painted gloved hand with... I don't know what to call these because with Wonder Woman, what are they called? Gauntlets? Yeah. Are they gauntlets? I don't know if she's fighting anybody, though. I would highly recommend that you read the Avatar High books, though. By Shannon Hale, not the other ones. This is like the red top. And like, look at this fabric. It's a little bit, husband, please stop coughing. (laughs) It's a little bit like stiff. So it's like not going to fray. It's got like, it's like trimmed in like glue, you know? It's perfect. I'll try to move the back out though. Because so you can see like the underskirt. Oof. Do you see that, Tony? It's so pretty. Like, just, like, the branches and the swirlies. It's, the details are so pretty. And then she's got a gingham pants. Is this gingham or plaid? This is gingham, no? It's gingham. Yeah, I would consider that gingham, too. And then this purse. Ooh, the purse. So the wolf cute. head right there with, like, the tufts of fur. And the buckles. I've never actually seen if Girlie has earrings. She does. Oh my god, I've never seen them then. Oh, does she? Oh no, they went up in her hair. I messed her up. Hold on. Pause. So I lied and I unbroached it. And this is her earring, guys. I don't think I've ever actually seen that. I don't remember, but it's like a wolf ear. I don't know. She might be my favorite, actually. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But her shoes. Her shoes. Now, because her shoes aren't better than than Cedar's, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I love Cedar's shoes. Mm -hmm. She's got these beautiful boots with so much, like, ornate detailing and, like, lacing and filigree and gold buckles. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the heel. I feel like that's everyone's favorite part, the heel. I don't know. It's like wooden. <laughs> wooden detailing. It's okay. But yeah, her hair is all this like white, blondy gray. Mm. Um, can you try to like put that back? <laughs> okay, now on to Raven. 
And just like Cerise, we're gonna look at her box first. And this is the outer box. Okay. There's a little bit of like purple light here. And like purple glow inside of the symbol. But it's mostly like this wrought iron effect. Mm. Looks like bolts. And it goes all along the back. It's the exact same. Uh, this is one of the most weird boxes I've ever had to open. And then Raven came in this. With this gorgeous... She's a way to Wonderland, technically. Because she was released this... I don't know when that movie was released. Mm. Gorgeous artwork. This is like Way to Wonderland Raven. I don't know. Should we show her? No, you guys can wait till the retrospective on this. <sighs> Hold on, I take a breath. <laughs> that was me swallowing a burp. But here's the artwork. Ooh, she's so pretty and she looks so, so good. good on the camera. Mm -hmm. Raven Queen, Ever After High, Daughter of. Nope, scratched out. The Evil Queen. So she's not daughter of here. She's the evil queen. Oh, but let's look, look at the, the the raven detailing and like all that stuff. Hold on. Before we get into the box, let's look at the back. For this excellent artwork. Oh. I'll like do this so you guys can read the outside. She's insanity. Oh, wait. I have to undo these, huh? Yeah. To be able to open the... Wait, I don't want to open the box. I want to just take off. Because the artwork is detachable, guys. Mm. You don't need to open the box to just look at it. Well. It's like a crowned, like, jeweling piece. Jeweled piece. It's not that interesting, actually. I remember it being cooler. Looks like Yzma. It does. <laughs> that looks legit like Yzma right there. Okay, then we're gonna do this. Your mother. Okay, yeah. Here's Raven's box. Ever After High. Raven Queen, the Evil Queen. That's actually iconic. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I don't remember that ever. <laughs> um, If I remember correctly, this doll was re-released for Toys R Us at the same time that this apple was. I never bought her because I was like, that's crap. Uh, I paid a lot of money for this doll. And she was released like... Without any painted detailing, these uh, feathers were sculpted plastic. Um, I think everything was just, like, cheapened mm -hmm. for her to be released in um, Toys R Us, which is kind of, like, crap, honestly. Yeah. So here's Raven's face. Beautiful. Like, why did these dolls get, like, perfect... Um, eyebrows, but like my Hongator dolls looks like you sent them through a wood chipper. <laughs> I love this like crown with like the raven skull in it and the spikes, the feathers, more of that motif right here and these braids. These are just braided details that are like oof. And then she came with a poisoned apple. We're gonna kill you, girl. Sure. Literally, you're gonna die. And then this ring, it's kind of reminiscent to something that she wore in her original doll. And this dress, you can't really see it. But, like, in person, it's, like, purple and black and, like, silver. Like, I write, like, it's such a, oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah. It's like, it's All this, like, holographic detailing in it. It's so gorgeous. Like the feather design. And then this, like, mermaid skirt. Like, I feel like that's what, like, like Rainbow High... <clears throat> Ever After High was like, we're gonna, like, give them mermaid dresses. <laughs> I feel like I've never seen a mermaid gown done correctly on a fashion doll. Mm -hmm. And this is amazing. This is, like, dragon scales. So pretty. It's meant to, like, mimic dra dragon scales because, you know, Raven had a dragon. Evermore. And then there's this cape. Oh, you can see it so beautifully right there. <sighs> it's, like, glittery and translucent with all these feathers. Ooh. Here's the back of her... <laughs> Isma, pull the lever, crunk, <laughs> crunk.
la la. <laughs> okay, sorry. I will never watch this video ever again. So if you cringe, let me know in the comments. <laughs> She's got painted on gloves. Just the detail that I just noticed. And these are all like, I wouldn't say real feathers. Are these ever real feathers? Like, did these come from a bird? I don't know. Like, they're like feathers, you know? Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Come on, Cerise. And now to my favorite ever after high doll. What? Our favorite. Oh, yours too? Yeah, she's amazing. This doll has never been topped by ever after high. They have not even tried. They never even tried to top this doll. Mm -hmm. She is amazing. Show stopping. Never been done before. Like, exquisite. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here is her face. She didn't get the rooted eyeless treatment, but I don't really care yeah. because she got on a brand new head sculpt. Look at this. Like this puppet face sculpt. Like her mouth is open, but like it's got the heart detailing here. Her like long Pinocchio nose. This, this is like semi sculpted in. It's very, very light, but you can feel it on your fingers. And then these donkey ears. Oof. Like, she's borderline an ugly doll, you know? Mm -hmm. But she's so incredible. Like, you'll never see a doll like this ever again. Mm -hmm. Never. She's got, like, that Pinocchio hat. And look what's in it. The whale and some waves. Oh, my God. Have you noticed that before? No. Camp. Yeah. And then here's her top. She's got later hosen. <laughs> later hosen. Here is more artwork of her, her and the whale. Come on, She's so there. Stupid. I love her. She's it's on so both old. sides. Oh my god! And then this like geometric print, like one, two, three, four layers of skirt it's just amazing amazing this doll and then these really poofy sleeves super pretty oh. like iridescent shot shimmer, shimmer. yes they're like in person they're not this blue they are legit purple yeah but let's look at her damn face again she got freckles so cute look at her ear her ears her ears her ears this is her hair from the back it's fine and her freckles, her nose. Her socks. I oh, will do her box afterwards, sorry. And then she's got these, um, I don't know, gauntlets. Or these bracelets that, like, tie. Because this doll doubles as a marionette doll that you can, like, pick up and play with. But she's in her stand and I don't want to screw her up. <laughs> but just know that you can do that because her limbs are super, like loose mm -hmm. like even on her knees it's a it's a brand new body sculpt it doesn't spin at the knee like a regular ever after high doll it's just this joint like that it just does that mm -hmm. the socks the socks these are reminiscent of her original socks but like a little bit better Ooh, so the cute. sculpted body i loved loved cedar's body when she first came out mm -hmm. okay now these are the best doll shoes I've ever seen. And they will be in an All About the Shoes episode. Do not even worry. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's like a birdhouse. Oh, we can see the others. They're the same shoe on both sides. So, like, on this side, we have the Ever After High emblem with some filigree. Oh, my God. She's it's a cuckoo clock, guys. She's insane stupid. I love her. What time is it here? It's 2.11. Is that a significant time in Pinocchio? If there's any Pinocchio fans, let me know. <laughs> Does 2.11 mean anything? <laughs> um, and then there's like a little bit more of this color, the salmon-y color that's like a throwback to original Cerise. And then there's the front of them. Just like flowers. These are the best shoes I've ever seen on a doll. Ever, ever, ever. Mm -hmm. And this belt piece is the best piece I've ever seen. This doll is 
a complete work of art. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't even know what else to say. Like, she's amazing. She's so good. Okay, let's look at her box. Oh, it's over here. It's literally in front of my face. Oh, hello. Uh, so here's the outer box. It's like a stage, like when she's being made to perform. Call. Look at that. That's kind of horrific, no? <laughs> Camp. Adult collector. That's me. <laughs> Literally me. And then the back says Ever After High. It looks like it's glowing. Mm -hmm. They did such a good job on this box. And then here is what she came in. It's like a stage. She's supposed to be like dancing on the stage when she's being made to perform. Um, will you actually help me? Hold on. Grab the outside. The inside. Hold on. Technical difficulties. Tony, open the box. Do you like this style of video, guys? Let me know. Okay. So. Here's the inside of the box. But well, let's look at the outside of this box first. It says cedar wood. Let's like do that. Cedar mm -hmm. wood, ever after high. Daughter of Pinocchio. It's like a donkey right there. A clock. The whale. The whale. Oh. But it's also making a face. Mm -hmm. Camp. It's the same on both sides, by the way. Oh, wait. Yeah. The hella whale right there. Oh, my God. It's amazing. No, it's different. There's like a legit whale right there. That's amazing. They did not have to do that. No. Okay, here is the actual box. There's like some nutcrackers on the side. Don't know why. <laughs> but the curtains. Like this was like high quality. I could click her back in here if I wanted to. This is what this like packaging is designed for. I could click her back into the box. Oh my God. Like these are these are like stands. Hmm. And there's like the light right there. It's so cute. The wooden stage. Look at that. Look at that. Oh now showing in San Diego, Ever After High. Hall H. Line begins here. Oh my God. <sighs> They're dead. <laughs> They've died. They've died. There's Cedar's artwork. It's so pretty. And then here is this. This is kind of horrific if you're reading this. Her eye color is a little darker in her artwork than Dora. Yeah, I wish. That's like brown, right? That's like a deep, ready brown. Her eyes are like green in the doll now. They're like a yellowy orange. What? Yeah. Here are the people that designed this beauty. Thank you so much for this doll. But that's it, guys. Um, I'm sorry if this video was kind of all over the place, mm. but, um, we were just watching Markiplier play Poppy Playtime and we were like, I'm about to throw myself off a bridge. If I have to keep listening to this heterosexual man scream mm. at me and turn a hour and a half long game into three hours. But let me know, just like I took a video that maybe should have taken 20 minutes and it's half an hour, mm. but let me know if you like longer videos or these shorter videos, not these shorter videos, but like shorter videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.